Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you one simple trick that will actually turn this vehicle into the fastest one in the game. And what's pretty funny is it originally is kind of one of the slower vehicles in the game. So it's a neat little trick. We'll talk about all the quirks as we get going in this video today. Now, I first saw this on the GTA Online subreddit. It was posted by a user, JNBarnes14. Title of his post was, how fast does this thing go? Exclamation point, question mark. When I saw it, I was like, all right, he has to be talking about, you know, some sort of crazy fast supercar or something along those lines. But he's actually talking about the Ultralight, a vehicle added in the Smuggler's Run update that can be found on the Elitis Travel website. Now, I know what you guys are doing right now. You're like, no way is the Ultralight the fastest in the game. It's super slow but it actually turns out to be. So it has that buy it now price of $665,000, that trade price of $500,000. It says what red-blooded American hasn't gazed at an eagle as it soars through an empty sky, utterly serene, perfectly at one with its environment, refined by millions of years of evolution into the epitome of aerial dexterity and lethal precision and wondered what could be more majestic, more dignified, more transcendent. Well, now you know. So that's the ultralight right there. And for the purpose of this video, I ended up buying an ultralight starting from scratch. So the things I did, I upgraded the armor. I could have put countermeasures on there, but I didn't just for the sake of this video. I upgraded the engine. I upgraded the handling. And the most important thing you want to do here is you want to end up putting the muffled carbon propeller on there. Because what this does is it's going to reduce detection on the radar during initial acceleration and when freely gliding at slow speeds. Essentially, you will go off the radar if you're going slow and it, you will be undetectable, which is so cool. So there's actually a little trick to this and this will actually even make this entire thing go faster. Don't take it out of your hangar. What you wanna do is exit your hangar and then have it spawned in via the interaction menu. So you go to vehicles and then you request personal aircraft and you can call it your ultralight. For whatever reason, this is going to make it faster. I absolutely don't know why this does, but it does. That's according to the people on Reddit who have actually tested this. And I will even leave this post in the description. You guys can see all the success stories that we ultimately have had here. So by default, the ultralight is not fast. I want you guys to focus on the mini map here because you can see roughly how much ground we're making up, which is not a lot. We're going significantly slow here. However, here's the trick and here's how you can get this thing to go exorbitantly much faster. You just need to get above the clouds. Now, I don't have a scientific amount of distance or height for that, but when you're above the clouds and you'll know it, you'll end up going so much faster. Like now take a look at the mini map. You guys can see how much ground we're making up here. This is insane. It turns into the quickest vehicle in the game. Now, according to reports, the ultralight has a usual 60 mile per hour speed limiter. Well, now it shoots up to 290 miles per hour, which now means it's a 230 mile per hour increase. That is absolutely insane. Now, according to the individual who posted the video, he said if you take it up to around 1,000 feet in the air, that's when you'll start achieving the ridiculous speeds. And if you do toss on that carbon fiber propeller upgrade, you'll have an incredibly useful stealth vehicle because at any time, you can just take your finger off the trigger and you will instantly go off the radar. This is great for businesses. This is great for avoiding griefers. It's great for going from point A to point B. Because in the actual post, they said that they were able to fly from Los Santos International Airport to Palito Bay in around 30 seconds, which is just crazy. In fact, right now, I'll actually show you guys the clip of this guy doing it so you can take a look at it for yourself. It truly is ridiculous how fast you end up going. So 
So apparently this speed boost will actually work with other vehicles as well for any plane or helicopter that is stored in your hangar and has upgrades available. Like for example, it works from the Hunter, which can go much faster, the Sea Breeze, and the Ultralight, which has the craziest jump from 118 kilometers an hour to 575. And this effect seems to massively reduce drag on the aircraft when above altitude. So it works best on an aircraft with high power and high drag. So for instance, the Pyro is normally the fastest plane, but it already has a low drag, so it doesn't have much of a speed increase, which is why you see this working so well with the ultralight, because it's the opposite of that. So this was incredibly cool. I actually had a lot of fun with this. The hardest part is landing, and that's something that a lot of people have brought up as well, that I, was, I, I didn't know how to land this thing, especially when you go from going so fast to so slow. I felt like I was bouncing off the ground. But a lot of people have said, why are you even trying to land that thing? Just jump out of it and have it blow up and then call insurance and get it back. That's going to be way easier and quicker than trying to land the thing. The only reason I was trying to land it here is because I was legitimately just trying to get it back inside of the hangar. Uh, and because of that, I wanted to test out, like, was it quicker? Was it slower? If you, you know, drove it out from the hangar versus spawning it in. And it turns out that trick is true. When you do just end up spawning it in, it has actually much, much, much faster, which is so cool. So long story short here, you basically have the game's fastest stealth vehicle, which is awesome. Like I said, this actually has so many uses, and it's probably the number one way to just mess with griefers. If you get the stealth propeller and turn it on every now and then, just watch them chase you around the map while you're lapping them over and over and over again. I mean, this could actually be hysterical. Now, what's great about this is most of you guys should already have the Ultralight, and you actually probably won't even have to buy it because I remember a couple of weeks ago, Rockstar actually gave this vehicle out for free. So hopefully you took advantage of that because if not, uh, you're going to be missing out on this opportunity. Now, it's still at the end of the day not terribly expensive, but if you can get something for free, you obviously might as well. And I wonder if this is actually a real-life attention to detail. Some people have said because the air is thinner up high, it makes flying easier and faster so they're saying that rockstar did a great job of paying attention to detail i don't know about that per se but you guys can definitely let me know in those comments down below did you know about this speed boost trick involving the ultralight and have you tried it with other vehicles just let me know your general thoughts opinions and more in those comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys down there if you guys did go on to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.